Welcome to my channel focused on movement and function. I'm Beth Wagner. In today's video, I'm going to take you through a beginner vestibular rehabilitation program. I'll start by sharing a bit about what our vestibular system is and how it works, and then I'll show you my favorite exercises for starting a vestibular exercise program. And I'll also include some parameters for how to know when to progress to my intermediate and then to my advanced vestibular exercise program. So first of all, what is the vestibular system? That term is used to describe parts of our inner ear and our brain that work together to tell our body where we are in space and that helps control our balance and certain eye movements. There are many possible symptoms associated with dysfunction of the vestibular system. For today's video, I'm going to focus on the three most common, which are dizziness, specifically motion sensitivity, imbalance, and vertigo. If your only symptom is vertigo, which is room spinning, then I recommend that you check out my video that I did on vertigo, uh, which is focused on BPPV, which is benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. In that video, I go over a test and a treatment that is very specific to vertigo. Whereas in this video, I'm going to be talking about overall vestibular dysfunction. And these exercises focus on incorporating head movements, eye movements, and balance movements. As I mentioned, the type of dizziness I'm focused on here in this video is motion sensitivity. So I'm not talking about general lightheadedness or dizziness when you first stand up from sitting, or other types of dizziness. There are many different causes of dizziness. Please check with your doctor if you're having any kind of dizziness to make sure there isn't something major going on that needs to be addressed before you start these exercises. The imbalance associated with vestibular dysfunction is usually feeling like you're off kilter, maybe veering off to one side as you walk or having a hard time keeping yourself upright. So feeling like you're falling over to one side or the other or forward or backward. And finally, vertigo. That means room spinning. That's a very specific type of sensation where you feel like either your head is spinning or the room is spinning around you. When the vestibular system isn't working properly, the messages from your ear to your brain aren't clear and cause some confusion. So the vestibular exercises help your body adjust to these confusing messages and help your body learn how to still maintain balance and decrease that sense of vertigo and dizziness. A well-rounded vestibular exercise program will include movements of your eyes, your ears, your head, your whole body, and it will include stimulation from different parts of your body that are in contact with the surface. Be prepared to feel dizzy as you're doing these exercises. That's part of the retraining process. Although at no point do I want you to feel unsafe or at risk of falling. Most of the beginning exercises will do sitting. When we do move on to the standing and walking exercises, be sure that you're standing close to a countertop for support and don't push yourself any farther than you feel comfortable going for this first time through. As you gain confidence, as you gain strength, you'll be able to do more and more and step away from the countertop for support. Safety is always number one. Okay, let's go ahead and start the exercises. Sitting tall, exercise number one is a head nod. You'll simply lift your head up and move your head down. Move at a comfortable pace for you. With this exercise, don't focus your eyes on any particular object or part of the room. The goal is 20 repetitions. Start with what you can do and gradually add more as you feel comfortable. Exercise number two is a head turn. Turn your head to the right, come back to center, and turn your head to the left. Similar to the first exercise, try not to focus your eyes on any particular object. Exercise number three is gaze stabilization with a head nod. What that is, is you'll start with your finger out in front and you're going to focus your eyes right on your finger. Keep the focus there and move your head up and down. Don't change the focus of your eyes. Exercise number four is gaze stabilization with head turns. You'll start with your finger out front, 
focus your eyes right on your finger and move your head side to side. If your shoulder gets tired holding your arm out front, you can also do this exercise focused on something right in front of you, like a light switch or an outlet or an object that is a couple feet away from you at about arm's length away. Exercise number five is VOR cancellation. VOR stands for vestibular ocular reflex. Lift your arm out straight in front, focus your eyes on your finger, and as you move your finger side to side, follow your finger with your head. Only go as far left and right as you feel comfortable going. Make sure you're not straining your shoulder or your neck with this exercise. So keep the motion small to begin with and increase as you feel more and more comfortable. Moving on to the head tilt. Sitting up tall, tip your ear toward your shoulder, pause, and then come back up. Go to the other side, pause, and come back up. Try not to focus your eyes on any particular object with this one. Keep your eyes relaxed. Part two of that exercise is with your eyes closed. Start with tall posture, close your eyes, tip your ear over to your shoulder, and then come back up and repeat to the other side and come back up. The goal is to complete 20 repetitions to each side. Start with what you can do and increase as your confidence improves and you feel more comfortable with these exercises. Moving on to the standing exercises. When you first start this program, be sure that you're standing next to a countertop or a bookshelf or something for support. Number one is feet together. Bring your feet as close together as you can and simply stand. While you're doing this, this is a great time to be mindful of your posture and where your weight is. Is it more forward? Is it back? Is it to the left or the right? Do you feel like you're tipping over to one side or the other? Or do you feel like you're standing with good posture right in the middle? The goal is to hold this position for one minute. The next exercise is standing on one foot. First thing, you'll shift your weight onto one leg and lift the other leg. And hold as long as you can and then lower that leg. Change sides, shift your weight, and lift your leg up. With this exercise, be mindful also of where you feel your weight. Do you notice that you tend to lose your balance over to one side more often than the other side? Does your balance feel better on one leg compared to the other leg? Those are important things to note and see how they change as you practice this exercise more and more. The last standing exercise for today is tandem stance. This is like standing on a tightrope. So you'll put one foot right in front of the other. So your heel is right in front of your toes. Stand tall, lift your chest. And again, with this one, notice if you feel like you're leaning over to one side or the other. The goal is to stand for 20 seconds without losing your balance. Now I'll wrap up with three walking exercises. The first one is to walk while doing a very small head turn. So I'll start to walk and just turn my head side to side. Try not to focus on any one particular object other than making sure that you're not running into anything as you do this exercise. Exercise number two is gaze stabilization with a head turn. As you walk, look at your finger while turning your head side to side. Start with a slow head turn and increase as you feel more and more confident. And the last walking exercise for today is VOR cancellation. As I move my finger to the right and left, I follow that movement with my eyes and my head. So I'll look toward the camera so you can see as I'm doing this. So as I walk, I'm following my finger with my head and my eyes, right and left. For the walking exercises, I suggest a goal of about 100 feet. If your runway is about 10 feet long, shoot for 10 repetitions. I plan on creating an intermediate video with progressions of all of these exercises. Move on to that video when you can complete 20 repetitions of all of the seated exercises at a medium to fast pace. For the standing exercises, when you can keep your feet together and stand for one minute, when you can stand on one leg for 10 seconds, and when you can stand with one foot right in front of the other for five seconds. Those are just goals though, so if you're having a hard time with one particular exercise, don't let that hold you back. 
It's common for it to take about four to six weeks of these exercises before you start to notice some major change. That's totally normal and keep going with it. Be patient and you might notice a few things along the way that start to feel better in terms of your day-to-day -day activity. I hope you find these exercises helpful to improve your balance, to decrease your dizziness and your vertigo, and ultimately to help you do the things that you love to do every single day. Please leave a comment down below if you'd like to share your experience with me or if you have any questions. Also, if you have suggestions for other video content, I'd love to hear it. Please leave it down below. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so, and it's always great to see a thumbs up. If you'd like to be notified when I release my next video, click the bell down below next to the subscribe button. Here's to your healing, health, and happiness. I hope you have a fantastic day.